you don't see smoke like that very often coming like this, especially on the freeway. It seems like we've had a lot of car fires recently. Right here, bitch. Absolutely huge. Look at that smoke coming through the through the sky. Bruce is on his way in the helicopter. Bruce, you've got a pretty good view of that so far. Yeah, we just uh, popped over South Mountain. Uh, we're just uh, basically over uh, Awatuki heading that way on Interstate 10. You can see the flames. We are told uh, it is a tanker, a couple tankers possibly. We heard a really bad story uh, from the Traffic Watch airplane, the KTR Dam Beach Traffic Watch airplane. They said that somebody came running out of those one of those trucks and he was his shirt was on fire. So as we get closer, let me uh, zoom in here a little bit more and show you exactly what we're doing. <laughs> Boy, look at that. Uh, in the uh, lanes of the northbound I-10 here, let me back out just a little bit and show you two things. That plume of smoke, and then it's right down here at the 202 northbound. So a terrible story down here on the I-10 for the commute this morning and obviously for the people involved in that uh, wreck down there. And uh, once again, we'll be uh, exactly right over this thing in just a second. But you can see for yourself, Scott, what we've got. It does not look good at all. And uh, so, you know, basically... <laughs> Northbound, north of the 202, that traffic on the top part of your screen is traffic coming from the 202 uh, Santan Freeway heading northbound on I-10. This is going to burn for a while, and this is when the firefighters get on the scene. They want to take care of patients first. They want to secure the area, the Department of Public Safety securing the area, keeping everybody away from this tanker that is now on fire here on I-10 northbound. Obviously, concern with uh, some of the, uh, you know, possible explosions that can be uh, uh, associated with this because those tankers have separate tanks and um, they're, they're usually they've got different kinds of things in separate parts of the tank and if one of those tanks is still intact and then ultimately uh, catches fire as well, that can cause another explosion. You can clearly see the fuel down on the ground burning. And, Bruce, as you mentioned, if there was an explosion, I mean, there are cars right up on the uh, on-ramp. That's not too far away, considering the explosion. Those things hold, I believe, probably thousands of gallons. That, that could be huge. Yeah, we're going to try to get around, Scott, and see the name on the side of this truck to see exactly.